Hello, this is the news feed with a beat update for Monday, March 3rd. I'm Jacob Wilbanks. An advocacy group is pushing for gays and lesbians to march openly in Boston's St. Patrick Day Parade, but a deal with parade organizers isn't finalized. Kara Corradini of the advocacy group Mass Equality said Saturday that gay veterans would be allowed to march under its banner according to a tentative plan. The parade has rejected gay groups in the past, and its lead organizers said they don't want it to turn into a gay rights demonstration. In other news, the director of a documentary that explored a killer whale's involvement in the death of a SeaWorld trainer says a Labor Department investigator who probed the incident did not provide them with confidential documents. Blackfish director Gabriella Copperthwaite says the Occupational Safety and Health Administration investigator Laura Paget, along with her colleagues, declined repeated requests to participate in the film. SeaWorld filed a complaint last week alleging Paget of unethical conduct by giving filmmakers government documents. In world news, the European Union is threatening to freeze visa liberalization and economic cooperation talks in Sochi if Moscow does not de-escalate the crisis in Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula by Thursday. French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius said the EU would give Russia until Thursday to show signs of goodwill, including a willingness to open talks of withdrawal of troops. If not, the EU would implement punitive measures. And that is your beat update for this Monday, March 3rd. Thanks for watching. I'm Jacob Wilbanks.